I'm Dr. Paul. We've got the most amazing, the most beautiful, the most fantastic. My patient's listening. Oh dear. Wart. All right. Hey, how you doing? Good. Okay. And this has been here for how long do you think? 15, 20 minutes. The cream is. How about the wart? How long has that been on you? Like um, months? Since January. Since January. We are in August. Ooh. And you guys, you guys were using a home, a home remedy, right? Yes. A lot of the home remedies, almost all of them, if you get them past the edge of the wart onto the skin, it sort of burns it a little bit, right? So you would see it would get red and I think you're a swimmer, right? Yeah. And then you would swim and then it would peel off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that darker color, uh, that is called for the medical students and doctors. What is that called? Love. No, mm. it's post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I'm going to go get liquid nitrogen. We'll just freeze that for you and you'll okay. be done. All right. Thanks for your patience. Liquid nitrogen is really, really cold. So I'm just gonna loosen up the end of this Q-tip so it'll hold more liquid nitrogen because you've got a big wart to freeze. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so we're just gonna put it on the wart itself. Just be brave. You hear it sizzle? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? You're like a human popsicle. It's <laughs> like a popsicle? Oh, my videographer is just full of it today. Feel it yet? Yeah. Yeah. You're doing great. You're doing really great. The idea behind freezing warts is you want to freeze the entire wart and then get, get it so frozen that a little bit of your normal skin is also frozen. And you can kind of see, you can hear it too. All right. You can kind of see that the, the wart is sort of slightly rough. Just kind of rough mm -hmm. surface. Yeah. When we get to normal skin, it, it tends to be less rough. How are you doing? Good. You're still doing good? Yeah. Champion. Wow. You are a champion. Usually by now I've got a little bit of yay, 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 yay. Arriba, arriba, arriba. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's interesting. This was a really big wart. So we've got a half an inch to a little more than that frozen, and that's the edge of the wart. You start to see it going onto some normal tissue there. You guys have been trying so hard at home with this one, I can tell. You're almost there. Too. You're almost there. Still doing okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, you're, you're doing great. You're so brave. Sometimes when we freeze real deep like this, and we freeze some of the normal skin, which is actually what you want to do, you want to get a little bit of normal tissue, sometimes you'll get a blood blister, where it's like a dark blood underneath or just around it. If that happens, don't poke, don't puncture the blood blister. Just leave it there, because that's actually a really a good thing. The blood has all your immune system there, and that's how we, um, that's how our body fights off the virus that causes warts. Mm -hmm. Surely this must hurt, like bad. Doesn't it hurt bad? It's really cold. It's really cold. Wow, you're you're taking this so well. All right, I'm gonna call it quits here. You've done good enough. So you can see that's normal skin there where it's a little, you know, kind of flat. You kind of see the edge of the wart, like a, like a map. Let's see, that's a map of Antarctica. Yeah, that's the Antarctic wart. It's a really famous one. This will be the famous YouTube Antarctica wart. Big thumbs up for this guy. That you took this better than almost anybody. Yep. Just smiling through the whole thing. One of the best. It still doesn't hurt? No, it's not really. You were brave. You got a brave boy there, Mom. The best part of this, oh, would you like to dump this on the floor as your uh, reward? You can. I can do it? Alright, watch this. This is so cool. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> Alright. Anything you want to say to your fans? It was fun. It was oh, fun! Yes! All right, that's the way we like it. Thanks for watching, I'm Dr. Paul.